welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to be showing you guys how I do my DIY dermaplaning. Let me just tell you guys where this came from. Um, so this is how it happened. I saw the derm or like an advert on dermaplaning. Um, and then I thought... I searched it and I saw that a lot of salons and beauty spas do this for like 500 rand and I was thinking like why can't I just do this on my own um, and I, wait, I saw they were using a scalpel and I thought hey but I have my own scalpel from my dissection kits from my first year at uni so why not use it and yeah I've been doing it on my own ever since um I don't know if I'm doing it like correctly but it works for me it really helps with exfoliating my skin so it consists of just removing the top layer of your skin also known as peach fuzz um, so like the hairs, the little fine hairs on your skin and that really makes a difference to how your makeup looks in itself. Um, the makeup goes on smoother. I know this a lot with my clients that if your their skin is really hairy then the makeup tends to stick to the hair and not the skin itself. So um, I did this. It's basically like shaving your face but I don't like that though. I'm shaving your face. Um, because I wax any hair that I need to remove. So, with this, it removes the, like, peach fuzz on your face. And, yeah, my makeup just looks way better than what it did. Um, I'm bare-faced. Yeah. Good tough life. What I'm going to say is, don't go out and buy a scalpel. Don't harm yourself. I have a very steady hand, um, if you don't know, I did a science degree, I did biochemistry and physiology, and not that this helped with having a steady hand, but we would pipette in the labs and I, I'm very, like, I'm, I have a steady hand, I don't, like, shovel, and um, my hand's very steady, Loki would make a good surgeon one day. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I work with precision, especially with the makeup. Um, doing makeup, you need to work with precision. Um, so I would not recommend you go out and get the scalpel for you. Um, if you want to do this on your own, I would suggest getting this. It's the um, what do you call this? I just oh, foldable fine eyebrow trimmer. So. You get this at the, um, if you're in BE, there's a shop in Bay West called Halo, if I'm not mistaken, you, were you able to purchase this? And what it looks like is it has these blades on it, so you would then take the blade and then um, do what I'm about to show you with the scalpel, okay? Um, and this is really cool because it folds up like this so you can take it with you wherever you go um, This is also I use this to do my eyebrows and um, you <laughs> Wow, what is worth me today? As you can see my eyebrows aren't the best like in terms of I don't have a lot of eyebrows So when I trim them I trim the outer section of my eyebrows And I use, just use this or like the top of my eyebrows Just to like give my eyebrows some form of shape But my eyebrows aren't there in this video So if you want to do this at home Then I would highly suggest or recommend That you go out and get these Also your hair won't grow back like a guy's. That is to do with hormones. Um, so don't worry about your hair growing. My hair hasn't grown. My, I haven't, it hasn't grown back. My hair grows very slow on my face. Um, I don't have that much peach fuzz. But I have dead skin cells. Um, so like my hair. I did this over a month and a half ago. And my hair. It's like my skin doesn't feel rough. and So you don't need to worry about that. Whoever told you that your hair is going to grow back like a guy's thick hair is lying. That's to do with hormones, my love. Okay. So, here we go. This is also my dissection kit. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. 
Cooker. So on the inside of my dissection kit I have these fitty sterile blades and then this is what my dissection kit looks like. So after my dissection kit my scalpel is upside down. I'm going to be using my scalpel. Note that I disinfect this after I ever use it. Um, so yeah, you should be using a, like a sterile, a sterile scalpel because you, you know, it's your skin guys, don't mess around with it. Okay. So first things first, you want to make your skin damp and I'm not going to sit there with like a bowl of water trying to make my skin wet in front of like a camera. It's going to be messy. Shoot! You got to tie your hair first. Now I'm taking a little cotton swab like this and I'm just going to make my face damp. Now, okay, because I'm doing this at home, you don't actually need to do this if you're using... Um, the blade you can just go ahead and get right into it but i just really want to target like my dead skin so i'm gonna use some cleansing foam any cleansing foam that you can find um and i'm only gonna apply on the areas that i'm doing first because i don't want this to get dry on my skin and then yeah so what i want to do is make it nice and foamy like that and then over here I have my paper towel so that is what I'm going to use to take off the dirt from the blade so my blade is fairly sharp that's why I said if you guys don't have a steady hand and I have to do like work with tools then rather don't try buy yourself a scalpel um, use the blade it's much safer also, you want to do it this at an angle in the salon. They do it at a 45 degree angle, if I'm not mistaken. So, I'm going to start off. I'm going down just because I've never got myself doing this now and I'm very clumsy. So, I'm going to start going down. So, what you want is, and that is how it looks on the scalpel. Nasty. You keep your skin damp. Um, it's the best way to do this is to keep your skin damp avoid the eye area because it's extremely sensitive that and you will see like the dead skin on your um piece of cotton oh guys i ate some cheap chips before this and that is all I'm going to say. You can see it on the thing. This technique, it's going to require you to basically go in constantly with the cleansing foam and the cotton swab until you feel that you're happy with your results. Until you feel like your skin is as smooth as you would want it. So I go in a few times just to make sure that I got everything. For me, my nose is super important because I have like a lot of um, white heads. I don't struggle with black heads really, but white heads are like a thing for me. And I haven't been taking care of my skin for the past few days, so my skin is looking like rather um, going through the most like congested and stuff. Sorry, I didn't bring my extra mirror, so I'm going to be looking above the camera. <laughs> Nasty. Wow, 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 the dirt on my face, eh? Unbelievable. And it, it catches like makeup that you never got on your skin. Um, my skincare routine is pretty thorough, but I'm like seeing I had makeup on like a day ago. This really works for your nose if you have a white head. Eh? Like it removes everything. I wish you could see how um, clear my nose is now. Oh my bad, like I want to show you. 
Disgusting. What you would do with your blade is, your blade is going to get every little part of it. So I'm just going in like a little bit closer than usual because my, my nose is like, I didn't realize how bad my nose was. Until now. Mm, so I'm really just going in there. And guys, I don't watch Dr. Pumple Popper. Eh? But I would thoroughly enjoy doing that. Like I could pop people's pimples for fun. Now you're probably thinking like I'm nasty, like how could I do that? I would definitely pop people's pimples for fun. And if you can see the difference in my skin, because my skin is just looking terrible at this point in time. I'm gonna go in and, oh do you want to see like my hmm, dead skin? looks nasty so I'm gonna go in with more water and I'm gonna do the side of my face Oh, I thought I got myself there because I was going to worst. And my skin feels so smooth. Sorry guys, my dry lips. Now to tackle the void. <laughs> my void is like a problematic area for me. And you're gonna see like your makeup's just gonna I'm gonna run this over my face one more time just to make sure like I'm a hundred percent have everything that's on my skin. I wanna go down on my forehead. Yo, my forehead is probably like oh ugh. so much dead skin. When I do a microdermabrasion treatment, then my forehead turns like when the um, product is on with all the dead skin like my forehead accumulates dead skin way too quickly maybe i should make a bridal how to do bridal makeup tutorial eh? like i always think if i get married one day that i want to do my own makeup <laughs> just because i know what i like and i know it works for my skin and I just don't want to take chances like going to someone else. Okay, that seems to be it. Okay. Um, then I'm just gonna, I want to tone my face after this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some refreshing toner. And I'm just gonna like, um, and my skin is like completely clean after this. Like completely. And then I'm going to add some of my Inglot Lab Ever Matte Day Protection Face Cream. So you have to protect your skin after this. So this is the most important step. So once you've done this, remember that you remove the top layer of your skin. So you have to have an SPF, a moisturizer, something to lock in moisture into your skin. So your skin doesn't dry out and that you don't break out. Um, I have a few breakouts on my skin just due to the fact that I haven't been taking care of it lightly as well as I used to um I need to go out and buy um, more of my face products and I'm gonna be trying new face products and I'll be making more videos on the face products that I try so I just get that into my skin smells amazing like apricots okay Don't forget that if you want to do this on your own, I would highly recommend getting the little blades from the facial blades. And then, so that you don't cut yourself, you don't want to, like any marks on your skin and whatever. Um, if, however, you have a scalpel at home um, by any means, please don't forget to sterilize it afterwards. Um, don't. Be sure to use clean stuff on your face, on your skin, to wash your hands before 
Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know if you want more DIY videos. And I'll pull through with them. Okay. I'll see you guys in my next video. Which is probably I have to do eyeshadow. And until next time. Bye.